in one year. Imagine what that would cost for two to three, four flights. How many of you would prefer to have that money on a vacation? Well, you can. You would not believe the money that we throw away on a daily, weekly, monthly average, I guess depending on how much uh, or how many times you go in your cupboards. But you know that the average person spends, uh, the average on kitchen cupboards is $23,000, okay? 23000 is the average. We got the 100000 the 50000 the $12,000 cupboards, but the average is 23000 So we all spend all this money on beautiful cupboards, and then... When company comes over, what do we say? Don't open it or everything will fall out. Or it's a mess. Okay, so here we spend all this money on there and then it's a mess. Well, you know what? We have a choice on how we store our foods. You have choices. This is one choice over here. So if you have a cupboard, let me ask you, if I folded this up, the kids had uh, shreddies and I fold it up and I put that back in the cupboard, is that airtight? Liquid tight or can moisture get in there? Can bugs get in there? Can foods dry out? Those are the four things that consumers complain about on the market is that air, moisture, dryness, and bugs can get in and out of the foods in there and it becomes a smorgasbord for their, them and their relatives. Did you ever see a bug come alone? They bring the relatives, right? Well, you know what? When you get bugs, you're throwing out over $1,500 worth of groceries on average, and you're going to spend another $1,000 for the fumigators to come out. That is, it's crazy, because it's totally unnecessary. And again, we have a choice in how we store foods. Also, if this sat in the cupboard for a while, would that taste as fresh as could be after you opened it? No. Have you ever had stale crackers, or, or the kids say, Mom, this, yeah, this cereal tastes funny? Years ago, my son said, Mom, this cereal tastes funny. And I didn't understand the value of how we store. Nobody taught me. I knew in school that, well, vitamins and minerals, healthy bodies. But nobody said, let me teach you how to store your foods so that they are fresh and all the vitamins and minerals are maintained. So my son told me that one time, and then I went to a training on food. And guess what I found out? That the texture does change. My son was not lying. Because what happened was, this is sitting in the, um, in the pantry or in the cupboard. Air gets in there. I've got the kettles boiling, right? You know what? Pastas. There's, uh, there's over 550 types of pasta on the market today. The average family uses five kinds of pasta. Take a look at your pasta. You know in the wintertime when you're blow drying your hair and then you've got split ends, you know, because of a hot in the house, cold outside, and you get split ends? That's what happens to your pasta. Your pasta is sitting in the cupboard, you're boiling the kettle, you've got the oven going, this is happening, the steam is created. You look at your pasta. If you see little white dots on it, it's called mold, okay? Yeah, well, you know what? You wanna keep them in closed containers. So again, we have a choice on how we store. These marshmallows, I could use them as a weapon if anybody broke into the house. They're hard as a rock, but yet, you know, they're stored that way, or they roll them up. People open up like nachos or whatever, and they go like this. Again, is that a great way to store? Now, the other thing is, look at my cupboard here. Can you honestly, when you put things in the cupboard like this, can you actually use every bit of space? And if you touch one, would stuff not fall out every time? We have a choice in how we store. So we threw away a lot of money. Every time we go, when I started doing custom kitchens, when I started doing custom kitchens at people's homes, because one of the services that I provided when I joined Tupperware, I love this container. I can't believe you have one. Does everybody know what this is? Okay, this is called a commercial, right in the middle of whatever I was going to say. This is a commercial. This is called the large carry-all. Somebody had their hand up a while ago. You rock. Okay, large carry-all. You know what this is? This is a big bin. Okay, look at this. Wide on the top, narrow on the bottom so you can slide your hands between and get out the one you need. It's got a beautiful seal on with a nice tab for taking off the seal. The handle, you slide it on and, and you pull up like this and it locks so you can carry it. Now, if this ever came out for sale soon, um, if this ever came out for sale soon, I hope that you have a list of all your customers because I would never, ever in a million years say would you like one because you have a choice on how you sell them, but what I see happens every time this thing comes out for sale, I love these, okay, we probably have 20 or 30 of them floating around. My husband, first of all, I have to, I hope he's not listening, but I gotta tell you what he did this summer. I'm like, are you kidding me? I have never seen this in my whole career, 43 years in Tupperware. Do you know what he did? He took a drill, a drill. He took a drill, and he made a hole right there. Yeah, a 
And you know what he did? <laughs> he put insulation around and dropped a cask of wine in there for the lake. He said, I own it now. <laughs> so the spoke came out of, yeah, I'm, I'm really serious. He put insulation. I need out. one. That wine stayed cool all day at the lake. And anybody come over, help yourself to a glass of wine in the Tupperware. And actually, you know, it just looks like Tupperware sitting on the counter. What, or on the table at the picnic. So anyhow, I have to tell you that because I said, honey, you were so creative. But he has them for fishing. Uh, he uses them uh, hunting, he uses them fishing. He's got tools in him. Uh, it's great in the garage. And especially, you know, maybe a single parent, you can put your hammers and your nails and screws and everything in one place because those things rust. Tools rust, so you want to keep them in closed containers. Okay, the other thing is flour, sugar, rice, dog food, cat food, all your different bulk shopping because you want to save money and stretch your food dollar, you shop bulk. Okay, the other thing is in my granddaughter's uh, room, you know how you go in the closet and you kind of got the sides wasted, you know, around the corner? Not in my granddaughter's place. They, these are here, they are stacked. Uh, one on top of another, and they would have like Lego, uh, their Barbie doll stuff, all of that was all in each one of them. Okay, so again, and the, for the boys too, same thing. My boys had G.I. Joe's and Lego and all the stuff in, in theirs when these were blue seals. And it's awesome because it's organized and you just pull out one bin at a time and they don't get bored that way. It's like new toys all the time because they bring down one. So again, it's organizer. Okay, it's, there's a million different uses. I have, if you go, if you go, in my bathroom downstairs, I have my cleaning supplies. If you go in my laundry room, I have two kinds of soap. I have allergies, so I have the unscented. My husband uses the Tide with uh, bleach or whatever it is for, for that. So we have two kinds of soap side by side if you walked into the laundry room, okay? You go into the kitchen under the sink, I have a whole bunch of different um, you know, like clots and all that kind of stuff organized in one place, not all over. You walk out in the garage, again, we've got different tools and stuff like that there. You go into the RV, um, when you go into the RV there, we now have a cask. <laughs> we have our own hidden cask now in that one. And then, um, where I used to sell them six to every customer, not one or two, six. They six are in a case. When I used to do parties, I'd say you can buy one or two, but the sad part is when you get it and your, your sister sees it, they're gonna say, oh, could you get me two? I want to. No, it was over because it was only on for one week. So you sell to the customers six in a case. If they're ordering two or three, say there's six in a carton, is there other people they're gonna want after this week or is there other people that you could think of for gifts? Oh, I forgot to tell you, when in my laundry room up in the cupboards, I have a wall-to-wall -wall, uh, cupboards. Uh, you know what else is in there? My Christmas ornaments. I knew there was something else. So I have Christmas ornaments in another one because I just grab it by the handle, take it up, do the uh, Christmas tree, whatever. The other one has all the Christmas, whatever you call it, garland. So that's full of one of them. And uh, so I can go on and on because like I said, just about every room has, the, has one of these. I've even seen people use uh, this as a garbage can in their office. I've seen it as a, as a garbage bin. And speaking of garbage, so that's a large carry-all. If it ever comes out for sale soon, uh, if it ever comes out for sale, you know. So this would be a good time to date a party. This would be a really good time to date a party. And this would be the best time to have a pack a week of parties next week. I would say next week, have a pack a week. Next week? I can't tell you when things are coming out. All right, good. Okay. So, you know what we do at home, though? Uh, a lot of us, if we don't know how to store food properly, we start throwing away money, okay? We, we walk into, um, and I'm not even going to the fridge, that's another time, but even going in the cupboards, when I start a custom kitchen, I, I'd say to the lady, I'd go an hour before the party, which cupboards do you want me to help you customize? And they'd say that one and that one. I'd it open up and there was brown sugar, and then behind something else was brown sugar, and then there was brown sugar, and then there was a cornstarch, and then over there's another cornstarch. How much money do you have at the end of each week, month, year to throw away? What did I name? Just three, four products, and they'd have three, four of them, and they were hard as rock. I, I swear, I said, oh, this is where you keep your weapons, you know? Uh, because they were weapons. That brown sugar, you could have killed somebody, okay? But they had three or four, and then I'd help the woman on the farm do her cupboards, and she'd say, I didn't know I had three cornstarch. I didn't know I had four brown sugar when we pulled everything out because everything keeps, you know, going back. Well, anyhow, we have a choice in how we store. 
And so let's go over here and look at the modular mates. You know that we won 15 different government awards, and five of them were in Belgium and France years ago. And this was the very first ones that came out, the oval, sorry, I got the wrong one up, but that's okay. The ovals were the very first ones to come out on the market in 1980, I believe it was, because I was doing parties then. And when they came out, we won government awards because they fit in the cupboards 15 different ways. So it doesn't matter where you've moved to. I was on Vancouver Island. The builder, when he built our house, I just handed him, and I said, I want three five cupboards and a three cupboard. And he said, what's a five cupboard? And I said, they're numbered on the bottom, one to five. So I want a five cupboard, and I want two threes above the stove, because it's a crazy cupboard above the stove, right? So that's a two, that's a three. So the threes, I could go three and uh, three or twos and a one. Do you see how that's a three cupboard? Everything's numbered one to five. You guys can add three and two is five, right? So I could do a five, a four and a one, a three and a two or five ones. So uh, did I get that right? <laughs> Anyhow, so the builder says, why isn't everybody doing this? He was so impressed with my cupboard. We moved to Edmonton, we built another house. Guess what? Handed the modular mates to the builder. The builder's like, why isn't everybody doing this? He said, this is amazing. Did you know that Tupperware designed these to fit from back to the front in your cupboards, in all the standard cupboards? This is amazing. And he couldn't get over the windows that it's clear and you can see what's inside. Why would you want modular mates? Many reasons. Number one is, can you see what's inside? Yes. Say yes. Yeah. Can you see how much is left? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Can bugs and relatives get in here? No. No. Can moisture? No. no. Can it, foods dry out? No. no. And so what you want to do is maintain the vitamins and minerals for healthy living. Remember I talked about the pasta? Okay, yeah. where you want to keep your pasta, right? Okay, so we have choices on... You, if, this is all about preference now, on the size of your cupboard. But I'm going to tell you what I took to my parties. My husband actually thought of this, not me. But we had an old soft su suitcase, you know what a soft soft suitcase is, you see them in garage sales. Well, you know, they got no legs and you just, you know, you have to carry it, right? Well, I carried that to parties, but what I did was I unzipped it and I dropped it this way, the suitcase, and then all the modular mates were in there, so they were looking at a cupboard at the party. So I had uh, in one of my bags all the packages and boxes, and then I had that. I just flipped it down at the end of the party, zipped it up, and that was my modular made parties. Because I did modular made parties, fridge parties, uh, meal planning, uh, bre t 10 breakfasts in five minutes, and what's the last one? I don't know. I did five different themes. <laughs> Okay. Wine and cheese? I don't know. Well, that's probably it. <laughs> so the modular mates are ovals one to five. Again, I can go on and on all night about what you would store in them. Like this is your regular uh, box of Ritz crackers. That's 50 tea bags. Um, that it, 50 tea bags. Uh, this is your cornstarch one or your box of salt. I can go on and on and on here. Okay? But, and again, we have charts with all of this, but it, it's your choice on how you store. What am I doing here? Five and a three and a two? Oh, you must have one extra here. Okay, so five, four. Thank you. It's throwing me off. <laughs> okay, so modular mates are number one to five. And when I used to go to the out, out and I did a lot of farm parties, a lot of country parties, and they would say, help me customize Sonia because they buy bulk shopping, they don't want mice, they don't want bugs, and you can't run to the store every day when it's 40 below or you're snow, snowed into the yard, right? But you want to be able to cook or make a quick, easy recipe. And so I used to help people customize their cupboards. I said to my husband a while back, I said, honey, what do you, and I told my son, what do you guys love the most about being a guy? What do you love the most about the modular mates? Because every one of my cupboards are done. And they said, we can open the doors and see what's inside. And my son says, I like to always helping mom making the grocery list because if they knew if there was only that much left added to the grocery list. So we were buying because containers were getting empty, not because we were throwing out rotten or dried out and buying fresh. So my son loved that you could see and add it to the grocery list, just open the doors. And my husband loved it because he could see and find stuff very easily. So today I have a walk-in pantry and I have uh, also organized my kitchen because you can organize it. I have what we call a beverage center. It's that crazy narrow cupboard. I don't know if you have one on the side of the sink. To me, it's a wasted cupboard, okay? But you know what's in there? That's my beverage center. I have all my, uh, my tea bags, my coffee, I have my iced tea. All of those beverages are just in that one area. If you go above the stove, it's stuff I hardly ever use. So that's why I know I have um, two, four, maybe six of those up there because I have like the Bisto, you know, for making gravy and the chicken one, the salt, the pepper, the cornstarch, wheat, 
<laughs> you gotta have wheat, okay, and cornmeal. So those are all above the stove in those crazy little areas. To the right of the stove, when you open the drawer, the, the door, what I love about it is I have the uh, spice shakers. You cannot stack 42 packages or 44 packages of spices in your cupboard, can you? And reach the one that you would like. But with the spice shakers, guess what? I just move the fours around and grab the one I need. So I have, I don't know, 42 or 44, I haven't even counted them, um, but it's a lot. Well, in this little cupboard, I've got at least 44 spices. You know, I couldn't do that. And I also have the round threes that every come out every so often. I have that with like pancake syrup, the um, mazola oil, and what's in the third one? Uh, vanilla. Concentrated vanilla I buy in Mexico because it's beautiful, it's fresh stuff. Okay, so um, those are in the liquid ones there. You know, someone just said they buy tequila in Mexico. I do that too. It was good with that. <laughs>